local unit of government that serves all of Washington County and we've been in existence since 1942. We provide education and technical services to communities and to residents to help to protect the uh, natural resources, land and water, uh, establish conservation projects, things like that. One of the big challenges that we have, especially in the metropolitan area, is that we get a lot of stormwater pollution from just all of the roads, the rooftops, the parking lots that we have in our developed neighborhoods and communities. And you'll notice in, say, the springtime, there's just a ton of leftover sand, there's gravel, there's all this debris that accumulates on the road. And this will get washed into a storm drain like this, which most people don't really think much of, um, but they connect to wetlands, they connect to lakes and streams, and when they do, then it carries a lot of pollution with it. We've de uh, developed this new program called Adopt a Drain, and it's really easy. People can actually just go online and they can find the storm drain nearest their house, click on it to adopt it, and then when you see that there's some stuff that's accumulating outside, you just spend about five minutes and go there and sweep it up throw it away and that helps to keep it from going into lakes and streams. It's the kind of thing that doesn't make much of a difference if only one or two people do it, but so far we've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 4,500 people who've signed up to adopt drains. Uh, we've got several hundred thousand storm drains in the Twin Cities, so we're hoping if we can get, you know, maybe 10 percent of those storm drains to get adopted, that that would make a significant impact on the health of our lakes and our streams. And this is such a simple thing, it's just asking people to go out maybe once or twice a month, just take a broom, be out there for five minutes, you're done, and then you can go online and record your what you collected. If you collected five pounds, if you collected one big bag, and that allows us in the background to be able to keep track of what everybody's doing. So at the end of the year, we can say how much of a collective impact we had and how much of a benefit for the lakes and streams.